Hello, hello everyone! Welcome to another happy episode of Winnie's Toy Chest! Today we are going to be checking out another complete season of Happy Places! Woo! It's time for Season 3! And Season 3 is huge, let me tell you. There are so many petkins and shoppies and buildings that come with Season 3. It pretty much takes up my entire table here. There is barely any space left. There's just so much for Season 3, but I love it. I love all of the new Petkins. Moose Toys always comes up with so many cute little sets. And I especially love the new Grand Mansion that was introduced in Season 3. It is the biggest shoppy home ever. And for the first time, there is also Happyville High. The shoppies now have a school to go to. And it has taken me quite a while to collect all of Season 3 here. Of course, there are no limited editions, but those are very hard to find. I don't really count those in my complete season. I think of them as just an added bonus if you happen to get some limited editions. Ooh, and let's start with one of my favorite parts of Season 3, the Happyville High Prom. I love this little expansion. You can attach it to the school so that the shoppies can attend their school dance. This prom expansion has two rooms. There's the Princess Puppy Powder Room, which has some adorable little puppy petkins that all have these super cute crowns on them. Look at the little couch cushion. It has a really pretty silver tiara on top. Most of these princess puppy petkins have little crowns on them, so that way they just complete the look of the princess room. Not every single one of them does though, like this purse, the cell phone, and the little lipstick do not actually have little crowns, but they are still super adorable. There's a little hairbrush, this really cute little perfume bottle. And I really like this little camera that looks like it's on a selfie stick. The shoppies can hold it and take some awesome selfies. There's some tissues and a lotion bottle. And the bigger pieces of furniture are up here. And Jacinta and Valentina Hearts do not actually belong in the powder room. They go in the cozy bear bedroom that's in the Green Mansion. But I actually had more shoppies and petkins that belonged on this side of the mansion. So since you can't actually see the bedroom back there, I just put them over here so that way the powder room wasn't empty. And I totally don't think they mind. They are both super girly and they love all of the pink and princessy petkins that are in here. And down below is the Princess Kitty Dance Hall. This is where the shoppies can party and dance. Check it out, there's even a little stage back there with a drum set and all sorts of instruments for the shoppies to play. And Violet here belongs in the Princess Kitty Dance Hall. Along with her Princess Kitty Petkins, she has a little violin and a bow. I think my favorite part about this room is this photo booth. It is absolutely huge and it's really cool because the shoppies can actually fit inside. And right here are the rest of the Princess Kitty Dance Hall Petkins. There's some record players, a little photo from the photo booth, an amplifier, there's a little guitar, and I love the little kitty cake. There's even a little slice that can come out. And just like the Princess Puppy Petkins, all of these little kitty petkins have crowns on them too. And let's move on to Happyville High. The school is laid out pretty much like the Happy Home. There's four rooms, two on top and two on the bottom. And there are actually two schools in Season 3. This is Sparkle Hill High. And it's pretty much just like the other one except it's pink. And it's got sparkly posters and it came with an exclusive shoppy Marie Degree, along with some exclusive Bright Bunny Science Lab Petkins. But let's check out the regular school first. There's the Bright Bunny Science Lab that CC Science belongs with. She's got her lab desk, a little shelf and a stool, and there's also some really cool chemistry, posters, and all sorts of test tubes and books in here. And all of these Petkins here on this pink tile belong in the Bright Bunny Science Lab. There are some telescopes with cute little baby bunny planets. There's some test tubes and test tube holders. All of the shimmery and sparkly bunny petkins here are from the Sparkle Hill School. Ooh, like this sparkly bunny book. There's some volcano sets, which are really cool. There's some microscopes with little slides that the shoppies can look at. Some scales, some little test tube holders, which are really cool petkins because you actually have to put this together when you get it out of the blind box. And the science lab in the Sparkle Hill School is pretty much the same, except the posters are a little different. They're shimmery and sparkly. And of course the wall is pink instead of white. 
And here is the Clever Kitty classroom! I love that it has the big chalkboard on the back. It's got a clock and some posters. And the shoppies here actually belong. And the Pampered Puppy Theater. But since that room is also on the back of the mansion, I figured they could just hang out in the classroom. And here is the Clever Kitty classroom for the Sparkle Hill School. It has a yellow clock instead of a white one. And here are some of the Clever Kitty Petkins, along with the Shoppy that belongs in this classroom, Paige Pencil. And not a lot of Petkins came with the Clever Kitty classroom. All of these Petkins here on this blue tile belong in that room. There's a notebook, a really cute little pink ruler, some chalk and some pencils. I really like these watercolor palettes too. There's a little sketchbook and a little paintbrush in this paint palette. There's also a little laptop with a mouse and a little kitty globe. Ooh, okay, and here is my favorite room in Happyville High. It's the Hungry Puppy Cafeteria. The perfect place to eat a delicious lunch. And Miss Jellica here actually goes along with the Hungry Puppy Cafeteria. She's got some cute little Jello petkins, a little piece of Jello in a Jello mold, and look how cute the little food stand is. There's a little food poster back there, and I think the pink picture back there is supposed to be a fridge where they can get their drinks. And the cafeteria actually has two shoppies that go in it. It also has Mia Milk. Ooh, and the food poster over here is super sparkly. And the fridge back there is like a shimmery blue. There's even a little table back there. And all of these petkins here on the red tile belong in the Hungry Puppy Cafeteria. Look at those cute little lunch boxes. They have little rainbows on them and stars and hearts. And each one comes with a yummy sandwich and an orange. We've also got some delicious looking sandwiches and fruit cups and some juice boxes. There is so much food. I think that is why I love the cafeteria because I love food and it just all looks so cute. Like these little sandwiches and milk cartons. Oh my goodness, this one by far though is my favorite petkin from the cafeteria. It's a little puppy lasagna that you can put in this little dish to serve up. Look how tiny that little donut is. It looks so small next to the toaster oven. Mmm, and there is a ton of fruit in that fruit cup. So many delicious lunch options. And the last room at Happyville High, it's the Sporty Bear Gym. There's a basketball hoop if they want to play basketball. But then there's also some bleachers if some of the shoppies just want to watch. And Belinda here loves the Sporty Bear Gym, which is why she is a Sporty Bear Gym shoppie. And she actually came with her own exclusive petkins, a little soccer ball and a bag to hold it in. She could keep it in that super cute locker back there. And the Sporty Bear Gym at Sparkle Hill High is the same except for the colors. The floor is a shimmery blue and of course it has a shimmery poster. There is lots of shimmers and sparkles at this school. Skatelin and Cheerleader Rainbow Kate also go in the Sporty Bear Gym. So this room has three shoppies that go in there. Rainbow Kate came with some little pom-poms, and she actually came with a regular Happyville High School. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't know why she's in this one when she came with this one, but that's okay. At least she's in the correct room. And Skatelin here came with a little music player and some super stylish yellow headphones. All the petkins right here on this purple tile are for the Sporty Bear Gym. There's some tennis rackets and some tennis balls, some gym bags for the shoppies to put their gym equipment in, like some stopwatches and water bottles. It is very important to stay hydrated while you're exercising. This cute little lock right here actually goes on the locker in case the shoppies need to lock it. And here's a little orange basketball. So that is all of the rooms in Happyville High for both high schools. Out of the two schools, I think the pink one is my favorite. I just like the color scheme and all the sparkles. I just think it makes it look really pretty. But there are also some Petkin sets here that belong in school but just didn't have a specific room with them. There's the Mousy Art Classroom. All of the Petkins for that class are on the green tile. And there's also the Barely Ballet class that's on this pretty purple tile back here. Colorissa here is actually in the Mousy Art Classroom. You can tell she is definitely a shoppy that loves to paint. And her exclusive Petkins were a sketchbook and a little art bag to keep all of her art supplies in. And there are actually a ton of mousy art classroom petkins. There were a few sets that came in the blind bags and a few that came in the decorators pack. 
There's some tape and scissors, a little stool and some pencils. I really like this little glue bottle though, because if you lift up the lid, you can see there's a little brush inside. And I just think it's a really cute little petkin. There's some backpacks and a sandwich box and some water so that way the Shelbys don't get hungry while they're painting and drawing. And look how cute the little sewing machines are. Those are so cute. I like the pink set the best because I love how it's paired with the mint color. And it's just another cool way for the Shelbys to get creative. And look at this art easel. It is so cool. You can actually take the canvas off and put it back on when the Shelbys are ready to paint. There's also a little table to put some art supplies. And back here are the ballet petkins. There actually wasn't a Shoppy that came with the ballet class. For this season, I'm pretty sure season four, there is a Pirouetta Shoppy, and I'm sure she will definitely go with the ballet class. But these are still really cool. I love the piano back there. This top part can actually lift up so you can store stuff. There's some bars over here, a mirror, a little CD player. There's a cute little bear tiara, another little hairbrush, some ballet slippers. I love how all of the little ballet petkins have bows too. Woo, and now it's time to move on to the Grand Mansion. This mansion is huge, so naturally there are a ton of petkins that come with it. First up down here, we have the pretty kitty foyer, and Chandelia here actually comes with the mansion. And some of the foyer petkins here have different tiles. But the little pink tile and the two purple ones behind it contain all of the foyer petkins. There's a little umbrella stand with a tiny little umbrella. That little cone there is actually a key hook to hang up the keys. And there's little tables with hats and shoes so that the shoppies can leave their shoes at the door when they come into the mansion. And right next door is the Busy Bear Workshop, which is also a garage that can fit the bear convertible. I am so excited that there's finally a shoppy car. I would love to have like a limousine or something in one season, but I really like the convertible. And the car also came with these exclusive picnic petkins and a shoppy Pippa melon. There's even a little spare tire for the car. And since this is the Busy Bear Workshop, there are some petkins that belong in there. And they are all right here on this purple tile. There are so many different tools and things for the shoppies to use to fix up the mansion. There's some paint and paint rollers. There's little bear screwdrivers and a screw box. Look at this little battery charger. It's so cool. These little things can actually come off, but then you can put them right back on if the batteries need to charge. And there's a drill and a little paint can, a toolbox and all sorts of different tools to keep outside in the workshop. And right in front of the workshop petkins, we have the Pampered Puppy Theater petkins that are on this yellow tile. And the shoppies for that room are Hollywood and Kiki Cream that came with some exclusive petkins, a little cookie petkin, and this yummy looking glass of milk. So these are all of the petkins that go in the theater. There's a little music player, some food to snack on while the shoppies are watching movies. There are these cute little magazine racks that have books inside. I love the lamps because it looks like there's a movie reel on top. And even the little stools have stars on the top of them giving it that movie star look. There's a giant big screen TV back here too. And look how cute this little chair is. It looks like a little chair that you'd sit on at the movies. And there's even a little spot for a drink. And the other two rooms on the other side of the mansion that we can't actually see are the cozy bear bedroom and the deluxe bunny bathroom. There were not actually that many petkins for the bunny bathroom. There's this big tub and a little bottle of soap and then these toothbrushes and toothpaste containers and these little toothbrush holders. But that's it. The rest of these are for the bear bedroom. And there's also these little rugs and pillows that came with the mansion, but they did not actually belong in a specific room. You can just put them anywhere. All of these petkins back here on this dark purple tile and this one light tile in the front belong in the bear bedroom. There's a candle holder and a little floating candle up front that I love. There's a little plate of cookies. This one's really cool because there's a little pom-pom in here for the shoppies to get some powder from. It's also like the first fuzzy petkin they've made so far, which is really cool. There's also some makeup and a little vase with a rose, some tissues that are also really fluffy. It's also got some flocked material. So the pom-pom and the tissues are like the first two petkins to have a little bit of fuzz. 
My favorite petkin that goes in the bedroom, though, is this giant canopy bed. It's so cool. It's got a normal bed underneath, but then it's got this canopy part that you can put on top. There's also an egg chair petkin that's hanging up in the bedroom back there. There's a little picture to hang up and some dressers. And this really cool little sofa. And in case you've forgotten, Jacinta and Valentina Hearts are the shoppies that belong in the Cozy Bear bedroom. Ooh, and we totally forgot to check out Valentina's petkins. She's got a little heart box and a little candy heart that goes inside. And moving back onto the front of the mansion, we've got the Gourmet Kitty Kitchen. The perfect place to cook up a delicious meal. And the two shoppies for this room are Barry Bell, who came with a delicious looking kitty muffin and a muffin maker. And there's Donatina! She is one of my favorite shoppies, so I was so excited to finally see her in Season 3. And of course, there are a ton of kitchen petkins down here. The reason the tiles are differently colored are because the ones on this green tile, even though they're from Season 3, they actually belong in just the regular kitty kitchen. So they're just repaints from Season 2, but they're still really cool. There's the spice racks and spice jars. I love the little fried egg sets. There's some pumpkins and potatoes, some waffle sets, and some yummy looking rice. And all of the petkins on this pink floral tile go in the new Gourmet Kitty Kitchen. So these are not repaints. These are all new petkins here. I really like the dumpling sets. The little kitty dumplings are just adorable and they come with the little steamers. Ooh, look at that bowl of cheese. That looks like some mac and cheese. Mmm, so yummy. There's some little cheese slices so you can grate the cheese into the cheese bowls. There's a little knife block back here that you can actually stick the kitty knives in. Mmm, some more kitty muffins and some milk. Ah, and some kitty pancakes! There's corn on the cob and some maple syrup. I love the little whisk. It is such a cute little petkin. Mmm, there's even a big gallon of milk. This has to be my favorite petkin for the Gourmet Kitty Kitchen because it's a mixer, but you can actually lift this up just like a real mixer and get the bowl out. And then you can just push it right back down. And it looks like there's some kind of yummy frosting or some batter on there. And here is the very last room. This is the Pretty Kitty Dining Room. Sunny Meadows here can totally brighten it up with her pretty petkins. A little vase of some gorgeous sunflowers. And Michaela Wish here is ready for any party in this dining room. I love the little chandelier up there. It just really adds to the dining room. It makes it look so fancy. And you can't have a dining room without a table and some chairs. And here are the dining room petkins. There are some little cakes and a cake server. I love the juicer set. It's got a little juicer along with a little orange that you can juice. But look, it can actually come apart. So now it really looks like you're juicing the orange. We've got some salt and pepper shaker sets. Look at the little toast and jam. There's little toast slices with a giant jam jar and some butter with little knives sticking out. So that way it looks like you're actually cutting into the butter. This is really cool. This is like a little sauce caddy to hold a little bottle of ketchup and some soy sauce. Here's a little serving dish with a spoon, a candle and a candle holder. Oh, and I love the little kitty bread. It's so cute. And it can actually come apart to make two different pieces of bread. And back here behind it are a separate group of petkins. They don't actually go in the dining room, but they're still kitty petkins. These are the party time petkins. They pretty much go along with the dining room, though, because Michaela Wish is totally a party shoppy. So there's a present and a table to put the gifts and the cake. Ooh, like that giant cake down there that already has a candle in it. There's some candy dishes. And there's a little crate right here with some kitty sodas. Perfect for any party. And this little cake right here is cool because it has a little slice of cake back here that can actually slide out. And there's also some balloons with cute little kitty faces on them. And it's cool that there's this little stand so that way they don't fall over. Woo, so that is all of season three. Hopefully I did not miss anything. There is just so much going on with this season. There's the prom and the high schools and the mansion. There is just so much to love about season three. Season four is already out, so I am super excited to start collecting that season because it has ponies in it for the first time. So stay tuned for all of the season four fun. And I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the complete season three of Happy Places today. Be sure to leave me a comment in the comment section below to let me know what your favorite part about season three is. 
whether it's the high school or the mansion or just any petkin in particular. And don't forget to drive on over to my channel and subscribe so that you never miss out on a Happy Places video because I am all about my happy places here. And big, big bear hugs and honey pots. I will see you all in another video. Bye!